And the opposition People's National Party is renewing its call for the establishment of a timeout facility geared towards the reformation of disruptive students. The call comes on the heels of a recent incident at Pembroke Hall High School in St. Andrew. Here is TVJ's Shamela Pullen. The call by Deputy Opposition Spokesman on Education, Michael Stewart, comes against the background of a recent incident at Pembroke Hall High School in which a teacher threatened a student with violence. The Minister of Education has launched a probe into the matter. According to Mr. Stewart, the incident has brought into sharp focus the high level of indiscipline in the school system. Mr. Stewart says the teacher should have taken a different approach to the issue. We cannot condone the verbal outburst of a teacher. It would appear that the teacher had reached her frustration level and should have requested assistance from the vice principal and of discipline. The situation with Pembroke Hall High School and the teacher in question is not an isolated case as there are weekly reports of teacher-student confrontation. Many of our young teachers are not trained in anger management and are therefore not able to handle the disrespect, coarse and uncivil behavior of the students in our classrooms. Mr. Stewart says the time has come for additional measures to be implemented to curb disruptive students. And therefore call upon the Ministry of Education using information to revisit the type of disciplinary measures being applied in our schools as there are too many students who flout the rules of the schools on a daily basis without consequences. The teachers are crying out for help. The People's National Party notes that several calls have been made for a time of facility to be established to ref reform students who disrupt the education system on a daily basis. It is therefore absolutely imperative that the Minister of Education, News and Information moves with alacrity to have this facility put in place at the earliest possible time in order to stem the wave of indiscipline which is impacting the education system. Education Minister Carl Samuda had hinted at strong action against the teacher. Mr. Samuda had earlier described her behavior as unacceptable and had no place in schools. On Saturday, the Jamaica Teachers Association, JTA, expressed concern about the promise by Mr. Samuda. The JTA called the minister's statements premature. Shimela Pullen, TVJ News.